Hollywood'de e projektesiz. The condition of projectesis is very described in, uh, in 1819 by Lyons and the projectesis it is a dilatation of the bronchus of the medium sized bronchi of at least some of the bronchi in second to fourth order. What I mean in first and second order? The first order it is have the have a trachea. The trachea have the first segment it is the left main bronchus or right main bronchus. That is the first. After that we have a bronchial, a bronchium, yeah, is segmented to the lower, lower bronchus, lower bronchus, this is the second one, second one. From the lower, we have segmental bronchus, this is a third one, and we have a bronchial, this is a fourth order. So it is affected always either a lower, segmental or lobular, lobular, lobular one. The wall of the bronchi, it is a virtuous circle by repeated of infection lead to irreversible damage, irreversible damage of mucosa, and subsequently, uh, consequently, it lead of the area inflammation and infection of the bronchus and lead to the more damage of the tissue, lung tissue, and will be, this is, impairment of the mucus to explode outside because of the damage of the lie by this process of inflammation and lead to a chronic maybe lung suppuration. So in incidence of that one, the minor bronchiectus is probably of the classified as a chronic bronchitis. Maybe it is an ignored one. And only a part of segment of bronchitis is dilated. Maybe we mention this is a, as a chronic bronchitis because of an ignored treatment of that one. Before was common, now it is a less common. Yeah, repeated of chronic bronchitis because we have a shortage of antibiotic and our knowledge and our technology to diagnose and therapeutic one, so they're more liable to, to be developed uh, bronchiectasis. The pathology is the wall is thin and dilated, reduced elastin with heavy inflammatory cell and epithelium, it will be cuboidal rather than columnar one. Cilia, it will be absent. Maybe by the time change to the sequimus metabolizia and the slow patchy consolidation and the scarring, it would be reduced the volume of that lobe. This is a virtuous circle of the pathogenesis. First of all, when we have an infection, it will be an increase of a mucus production. And this is, it will have an excessive inflammatory process. When we have a white PC, it will be infiltrated in the field of the infection, lead to more damage of the tissue. And the tissue, it will be damaged, it will be lead to produce a dilatation of the bronchi and return back to the, what we call, Impaired mucosillary and lesion of secretion or damage of the bronchi. This is a virtuous circle of the pathogenesis of bronchiectasis. Now, how many types of bronchiectasis we have? We have three types either cylindrical one. Is a dilated bronchi or regular outline in the same or fourth order.
or maybe have a secular or cystic one. This is have a bronchial dilatation. It will be increased toward the periphery and created a ballon lack. Can you see this is a crepe lack? This is a good enough. This is a normal one. This is a cylindrical one. This is a radical one. And this is what we call a cystic, a cystic one. Now, if you remember the lung abscess, it will be have either in the posterior segment of the right upper lobe or apical segment of the left lower lobe. Here, in opposite, we have a right middle lobe and ungulate. And also have a basal segment of the left lower lobe. Not apical in the lung abscess here, a basal segment of the left lower lobe. Not in right posterior segment of right upper lobe here in the right middle lobe beside the lingula. Bilateral bronchiectasis may be have 30% of patients. These are unlucky if have bilaterally. One third to one half of these patients for five years show worsening. And if you not eradicated of infection, Maybe the process of damage, it will be continue after five years of that one, lead to the more, more damage, more damage, and more bronchiectasis development. The etiology, it is maybe congenital one, either a cystic bronchiectasis, or maybe have selective IgA deficiency, or maybe have a primary hypo gamma globinemia, or maybe deficiency of alpha-1 antitrypsin, or maybe a cystic fibrosis, or maybe have a congenital deficiency of bronchial cartilage. And the most important, you should be remember this, what we call the Cartesian syndrome. What is the Cartesian syndrome? This is more common in female. It is have cytos inversus either Solitus or tualis. Yeah, we have digestrocardia or image mirror of the left or right. Yeah, and in Maria, the Hassan Maria, the female, has the adolescent age, have a chronic bronchitis, sinusitis, sinusitis, and cytos inversus. Yeah, and she will have more digestrocardia. Ohtimal, could it be well, it could, yeah, a liver, it will be on the left side, it's been on the right side, the appendix on the left side, and the other part, it is image mirror, it will be. This is, we call it, cytos inversus, either solitus only for the heart or totalis, and at all the organs, it will be image mirror like. This is the three things you should remember in Cartesian syndrome, especially a congenital one, a female more. In adolescent, it will be appear, and these are criteria of the Cartesian syndrome. Or maybe due to the bronchopulmonary sequestration, this is abnormality of development of the lobe inside the another lobe due to the formation of the bronchiectasis. This is what we call a young syndrome. Young syndrome. I think it will be mentioned by Dr. Haider, young syndrome. Second thing, maybe it is not due to the congenital one, due to the acquired one, because of the repeated of the bacterial or viral infection, especially had measles or whooping calf in the childhood, it will be lead to development in the future of the bronchiectasis. Bronchial obstruction, either it will be intrinsic or maybe extrinsic. Intrinsic mean uh, pathology inside the bronchus, like a neoplasm, foreign body, or mucus plug. Extrinsic it is cooperation of bronchus from outside. This is enlarged flow. This is what we call the yani middle lobe syndrome. Middle lobe syndrome. It is an enlargement of the lymph node in the middle lobe due to the compression and these are only to bronchiectasis. This is what we call it middle lobe syndrome. Middle lobe syndrome. You should be concentrated on this term, middle lobe syndrome. Scarring. 
due to the secondary of tuberculosis of uh, TB bronchus, maybe lead to later on damage of that one, lead to the bronchiectasis. Or maybe have acquired, acquired hypogamma globinemia. This is the normal things appearing of the bronchus uh, transaction of that one, the outer wall, the cilia, mucosa, and, and mucus gland. Here it will be the, to the destruction of the wall, an increase in mucus, and loss of the cilia. Clinical presentation, recurrent pulmonary infection, recurrent cough and virulence impute, especially in the morning, have more than one class of, or one and two cups of the sibutum, foul smell, foul smell in the mouth, and fever, hemoptysis, 50% of adults, not in, 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 in children, a bronchiectasis, a bronchiectasis, not developed, a very rare hemoptysis, but in adult, hemoptysis may be reached to the 50%. This is another thing you should be remembered. And beside that, acute febrile, pleuritic pain, and an increase of volume of the sebutum. But this is the hemoptysis, a rarely fatal, rarely fatal, not like in the tuberculosis, or maybe due to the aneurysm or any fistula of the lung. Anoroxia means loss of the appetite, a pleurisy, this is a pricking sensation of the breathing on the affected side, arthralgia, clubbing, joint, swelling, and it will be all this, it will be resolved after surgery. Percussion, have dullness, ascultation, it will be moist, unpuddling, rolls, and coarse expiratory ronchi. Chest x ray, it is a pain x ray, it will be appear like honeycomb appearance. Bronchoscopy is very important, and bronchography, previously we do it, uh, previously we do it after four to six weeks of eradicated of the infection. CT scan now with contrast, we do it previously, and in, in the last two decades, we always we do a bronchogram, but now we, because of the facility of the CT scan with contrast, we are limited to use the bronchography. And also you should be take a sample for culture and sensitivity. These are the X-ray appearance of bronchiectasis and CT scan and branches X-ray. And also the treatment, it will be largely medical, a postural drainage as a, the TB, as a, sorry, in the lung atis. He thinks it is an adult, a different antibiotic and the new generation of the cephalous body. You can use it according to the culture and sensitivity. Chest physiotherapy, and you should be stop smoking. And a new cochlear vaccine it should be given, a new influenza vaccine, you should be do it. To this is to prevent a uh, repeat it of the lower tract infection, lower respiratory tract infection, and it is more worsening of the yes of bronchitis. This is to cut the circle of the virus circulation of the infection and damage of the cilia. Now, what is the indication for the surgery? Failure of medical treatment after several months. Recurrent episode of pneumonitis, persistent perulence butum, and production. In spite of good post 